Hello people, this is Forty Splish Splash, very much welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm actually playing a mobile game, I usually don't do that, I, I have no need to do so since I have a good PC and a lot of games to play. But there was like a mobile game that recently went public uh, in the major part of the world, which is Call of Duty Mobile. And I have made a video talking about that uh, before, if you want to see that, you can check out this card. But here today we're going to learn how to play this game on PC, as you heard me right, using an emulator. And we're getting into that very, very soon. But first I want to answer a question, since I started to play this on my Motorola uh, 5GS phone, which is a decent phone, not very special, and the screen is a bit small. And I said to myself, if I'm going to record this, how am I able to do that? So I stumble upon two softwares that makes it possible to mirror and also record like gameplay on an Android phone. Uh, although this is not that kind of tutorial, but I wanted to mention it since I've got the questions. And one of them is called Visor. The downside here is that the free version doesn't give you that good quality. So I had to find another way because this is uh, a paid option. I mean, the, you have a free version, but you've got to pay like 40, 50 bucks in order to get better quality. So that was not an option for me. It's a competitor that it's like free here. That is also called SCRPY, weird name, but it actually is pretty cool and also works good. Quite easy to set up as well as a visor. But today we're going to use an emulator from Game Loop and I'm going to show you how it rocks. So in order to play Call of Duty Mobile, you need to download this self-developed engine and it's quite easy to do that. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of Tencent games because that's what you have here. You can also play, for example, PUBG, another, of course, very popular title when it comes to mobile games nowadays. Uh, so you can check that out if there's anything of interest more than Call of Duty Mobile, uh, if that's a reason for you to download this uh, engine. So when you press the download button, it's going to look something like this. It goes pretty fast, depending, of course, also what kind of internet you have. And then you're ready to go when it comes to, in this case, downloading the Call of Duty mobile game. The interface here looks pretty good and it's easy to check out what the different kind of things you can do, like going full screen as I will do, uh, screenshot, record directly here in the software. That I'm not doing, I'm using my external program. And uh, you know, like the shortcuts and stuff like that. It's really cool. So here we're getting into the game. They are explaining a bit for you guys before we get into the actual process of starting it up, you might say, or at least um, logging in. And you have different options here. First of all, you have to uh, agree regarding the terms of use and privacy policy. That's nothing weird about it. You can also, as you see here, choose what kind of um, quality you want and all that stuff. Uh, you just need to accept and move forward. And then you can choose if you want to log in as a guest or end using your Facebook profile. And that's something I've done and it has worked good. No props. So so you just fill in your yeah the things here mobile number uh, or email and Facebook password oops I'm not gonna show you that so after that procedure you're just gonna be patient uh, loading screen uh, clicking through whatever have you of course yeah the game has uh, some microtransaction stuff uh, don't bother about that it's just a common thing nowadays even though we can have a whole discussion regarding that you get into the menu the loadout the multiplayer loadout and of course also you can check out the sensitivity for example I have mine on 20 right now it has worked well for me but it's a question of taste also when it comes to audio graphics it depends on what kind of CPU and what kind of computer you have I can max out. I, I don't think this game is that demanding. I don't know exactly how much, uh, but you can try it out and see what works best for you. Depth of field and ragdoll, very important. You got to have that on. After that, it's just game on. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to uh, put them in the comment section because I always answer comments. Guys, thumbs up, take care. And if you're new to my channel, consider to subscribe for more content. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.